Today is October 26, 2017. Time now is 1231. This is an interview in connection with Internal Affairs, case number 170037. I'm Sergeant Todd Clark. Can we go around the room and introduce ourselves, please? Thomas Lasko, CPPA. William Gonzalez, uh, my badge is 2020. I'm with the CPPA also. Brian Moyarty, CPPA. Uh, Aaron Pettit, uh, badge 101. Officer Pryor, starting this interview, I showed you the Internal Affairs Administrative Interview Form. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Explained to you the reasons you're here for this interview today? Yes. The right you have during this interview? Yes. Possible sanctions you could be facing if you are untruthful during this interview? Yes. You had a chance to look at the form? Yes. Understand the form? I do. And you signed it, is that correct? I did. Any objections to the form? No objections to the form. Okay. I, my understanding is that you want to place an objection on the record as right. far as the con context of the interview? Right. Uh, thank you. Um, as we did with the last interview, we have an objection to going forward with this. Uh, we understand you have a job to do. Uh, we believe that this is unrelated to the actual initial investigation. Uh, the information uh, that was obtained was in regards to a different complaint. Our officers have rights to privacy as well as due process, and we believe that this is, again, uh, texting on a personal phone, uh, not a Cleveland phone, and we believe that it, it was not anything that was put forth on a social media outlet, and for those reasons, we don't think that there's any administrative, uh, th there should be any reasons to go forward with an administrative hearing. Thank you. Fair enough. <clears throat> Officer, is your, what is your current telephone number? Are you familiar with Sean Gorman, former Cleveland police officer? Yes. Do you know his phone number? Yes. What is it? I don't know it off the top of my head. I apologize. Okay. Uh, but is it fair to say that you've had uh, conversations with him from your personal phone to his personal phone? Yes. Uh, often? Or No. Or what? And if I hear, I'll just, this is the easiest way to do it. Okay. okay. So, sorry. Sure. I want you to read this conversation. This is a text message conversation that was taken from... Gorman's cell phone, on, and it's dated April 27. Take a minute to read that, and then we'll talk about it, okay? Okay. All right. Step back for me. Sorry. Sorry. Do you remember that conversation? Yes. It's on April 27th. You do remember it? Can you yes. walk me through what the uh, context of the conversation is and, and how it came about? Uh, I remember just from rereading the text that he texted me, uh, I'm sorry. Good reflexes. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, I apologize. Um, uh, I, after rereading the text, I remember that he texted me saying exactly what was, uh, written there. Okay. And that was what I responded with. Okay. Just so the, the obviously it's a video camera. It doesn't see the, what, a, what the text is. I'm going to read it. It says on April 27th, 2017 at 1.32, uh, Gorman sent you a text that says, stop down to Hustler. Apparently there are some Middle Eastern types giving people a hard time. We are en route. You replied, packing up, be there soon. And Gorman replied to you, take your time. Sorry. Power problem. Take your time. Sorry for bothering you, sir. And you replied, never a bother to tune up some haji ha ha. Does that sound right? Yes. Okay. Can you explain to me what, what the context of this? Well, first of all, were you working when this text came to you? I believe so, yes. Okay. So what exactly was this in reference to the text? Uh, it sounded like he, there was an issue that he needed help with with some Middle Eastern guys. Okay. And so you were, I'm assuming that you weren't working with him. Is that correct? Correct. And the hustler is the the strip club that's on the on the uh, in the flats on the West Bank. Yes. Or East Bank. East Bank. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. East, East Bank. Bank. And he's he. How did he know that there was? Or if you know, how did he know that there was an issue down there? I don't know. Okay. But he. Had, but this. It's, is it fair to say that this text was a text to ask you for some assistance down there with him? Yes. And is it fair to say that you were responding there? Yes. To help him? Did you go down there? I don't believe so. You didn't. You never made it there. No. What happened? I don't know. What do you mean? Uh, the last thing I, I believe that he texted me. The, sorry to bother you, and I never went down there. So, the sorry to bother you. You, you never made it down there to the to the run. Is that fair? No, I don't believe I ever went down okay. there. Okay. 
Okay, so what? Tell me what the what you meant by never bother, never a bother to tune up some haji haha. What does that mean? Uh, bullshit, tough guy talk between two guys that made me sound like an idiot. Okay, but well, when you say tough guy talk, be more specific. Just saying that it's not a problem if we, you know, to have to handle a, a fight if it gets to that. A fight with the the Middle Eastern guy. Yes. Okay. And just so it's clear, you you never you never went you never made it to the hustler club. You were is that fair? I don't believe I ever went there. Okay. Do you know if he went there? I don't know. Everything else. Oh, I do have one more thing. You're uh, in civilian clothes here today, instead of in uniform. Just so, in case somebody watches this, you're currently out on a HDI. Is that correct? Or out on a sick list? Correct. And you're waiting some kind of medical procedure. So uh, you're... surgery consult for a hernia. Okay, so you came down here today, even though you're on a sick list, just to get this, get through this, get over. Correct. Get through this? I just okay. To... All right. I just want to point that out in case somebody looks at it. <coughs> I don't have anything else. Um, two questions. You said that it was tough guy talk that you regret um, regarding the tuning up. Is that what you were? Yes. Uh, the reference to Haji. Um, I understand you were in the Middle East for a while. Yes. And, so and sure. was that a, a term commonly used to? Yeah, it's what we were told to call people. Okay. So that, that you don't view that as a, a racial slander? No. Uh, do you want me to tell you what yeah, Haji yeah, is? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Haji is a Muslim person that has been to Mecca, so it's like a title of a group of people. So if you have a, a group of Muslim guys in a predominantly you know, Muslim area, if you say, hey, Haj, whoever is a Haji or has someone who's been to Mecca has like a position of title, so the oldest Haji will be the one in charge. So you just call everyone Haj, and Hajis will raise their hands if they're a Haj. If they're not, they'll just not raise their hand because it's like a title thing. So that's how you find out who you're talking to or who's the one to talk to who's in charge is Haj. Okay. What does the term tune up mean? Uh, to get in a fight. All right. So you're saying that, well, I'll just ask you, tell me what, when you made this statement, what, why did you make it? It was the same thing I said, it was bullshit, tough guy talk, that if we have to get in a fight, I'm, I'm down, and I feel like an idiot for saying it, but it was, that's all it was. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. Anything else? No, sir. Okay, time now is 12.39.